What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival. And today I got a knife review for you. And this is the Gray Man Satu Tai Tai. And Gray Man knives we reviewed before, they're hard use built knives, very popular among the military guys. This is a super large folder, um, you can see here. And you know, military guys, they you know can't carry a bunch of equipment because they already gotta carry all their military gear. So this is something that would fill that role. Or if you're looking for a just a large fit, uh, folding knife, you know, you can't carry a fixed blade, but you want a folding knife that can do a lot of different things, this would definitely be it. Um, as you can see, you know, in the beginning we were batoning and stuff like that with this knife. You know, I would never recommend that with a uh, folding knife, but I had no problems with the Satu Tai Tai. But let's go ahead and take a closer look, go over the specs and all that kind of stuff. So the Satu. This one is uh, got a CPM 20 CV blade with a titanium handle and lock bar. 100% made in the USA and uh, 10 ounce weight. It's a pretty pretty uh, heavy folder, but um, as a folder, but I will say carrying in my pocket, um, it doesn't feel that heavy because uh, the titanium handles give it a lighter weight. That is a 3 16 inch 4V titanium lock bar. And you can see the cut out here to give it some uh, relief. That's a relief cut to uh, make it easier to open. And it's definitely got a good lock there, over 50%. It's got a four inch blade, 1.5 inch width. Has a nine and seven eighth inch overall length and a closed length of five and five eight inches so you can see there so even though it's big it doesn't take up it doesn't feel like it take up takes up a lot of room honestly brushing is three eighth inch so that's what's giving us you know its strength here it's got very good quality um, parts here hardware is stainless steel has a good uh, thumb opener, ambidextrous opening. And just a good look. Here you can see this semi chole here. And so you can, you know, sink your finger up in there so you're not going to worry about your finger going over that. <clears throat> kind of has a slight recurve blade. But you can see there's some groove cuts there. So gives you some something that kind of grip to but you'll notice that I mean the finish even though this is titanium and this is CPM 20 CV you it just gives it the stone wash is exactly the same amongst the whole knife the paracord loop uh, I have in here I have it double doubled so you got a pretty large so you can double it like this so you can easily take it on and off as needed So guys, definitely a no-nonsense blade. And like I said, that cutout gives it ease of opening. Um, very smooth to be such a big blade. It op opens super smooth. And just a gorgeous knife and very hard use. You know, there is a, a liner in here. Um, I believe that's G10, G10 liner there. But very uh, just tough knife. I mean. I, just, I did some things to this that I normally wouldn't do to a folding knife, but you know, like I used the uh, Mega Pounder before a few years back, did a review on that, and you know, you just didn't have to worry about breaking it because these knives are built to be tough. So, um, if you're looking for a tough double duty, I would consider this a double duty knife. It could be EDC or a wilderness blade. Um, this is definitely it. You know, most time in survival, we don't recommend uh, folding knives, but something this tough, I, I don't see no reason why you couldn't use it for that. Um, and very aggressive jimping on the back here. I forgot to mention that. So on the frame as well as the the blade. So you're not going to lose grip with this thing. You know, especially for a combat blade. You know, you're in the military. Um, you want something that can be used in the field 
as well as you know doing combat stuff you know tactical operations um, you're not gonna lose grip of that knife in case you have to stab something but anyhow guys I really dig this knife I think it's a beautiful very tough use knife um, and like I said I've been carrying it in my pocket and really it doesn't bother me at all I, I don't even notice it um, like a lot of other folders that I, I do commonly use for EDC um, I, I can't even tell it's in my pocket um, but when I pull it out um, people can definitely tell so anyhow guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure you check out Gray Man Knives at the link below make sure you subscribe to our channel we put out a few new videos every week and as always thanks for watching